Hey, uh, welcome to episode 2 of this guide to Valhallish grammar. In this episode we're going to look at nouns and adjectives. Every noun in Valhallish has a grammatical gender. There are three to choose from, masculine, feminine or neuter. Some nouns have inherent gender, such as the word for man, kartur, which is masculine. However, for most nouns, gender is arbitrary. In Valhallish, car, auto, is neuter, foot, fortur, is masculine, and fire, eldar, is feminine. When you look up words in a Valhallish dictionary, you'll notice that most of the words have similar endings. These endings help you determine what gender a noun is. Masculine nouns end in ur, bokur. Feminine nouns end in ar, hausar. Neuter nouns end in ir, stodis. You may have noticed that these endings have an acute accent, as if to mark length. However, they're pronounced short. This is an exception to the length marking rule that I described in episode 1. You need to be aware that a number of nouns actually don't take an ending. These nouns are mostly neuter and are often loan words. We've already come across one, auto. These endings actually denote the definite article. In English, the definite article is a separate word, the. In Valhallish, the definite article is expressed by these ur, ar, and ir endings. But there's more to it than that. For many nouns, in addition to these endings, the actual form of the word changes, depending on whether the noun is definite or indefinite. Let's take bokur. This means the book. To make this word indefinite, we need to remove the ending and change the stem. In nouns that have a double consonant in their stem, like bokur, you just need to remove one of their consonants and lengthen the vowel. Bokur, the book. Remove the ending, remove one of the k's, lengthen the vowel, boak. This means a book, or simply book. Shidnar, the tree. Sheen, a tree, or tree. In nouns that have the diphthong e in their stem when they're definite, this vowel changes to a when they're indefinite. Husar, the house. Hase, a house. You'll be glad to hear that most neuter nouns don't change their stem. You just need to remove the ending to make a neuter noun indefinite. Stodir, the town. Sta, a town, town. Some nouns form their indefinite and definite stems irregularly. You'll have to learn these. One example is Vaigur, the road. Vai, a road, or road. Vaigur's actually got some more tricks up its sleeve, but they can wait until a later episode. Adjectives have to agree with the noun they describe. In this episode, we're going to look at the predicative use of adjectives, that is, when adjectives are used with a verb like to be or to seem. For example, in sentences like, the sky is blue. When adjectives are used predicatively, they have to agree with their noun in both gender and number. So the ending that appears on the adjective is determined by whether the noun is feminine, masculine or neuter, and whether it's singular or plural. Here's a simple sentence with the masculine noun bokur, showing a predicative adjective in use. Bokur er pur. The book is beautiful. Notice that the adjective pur doesn't have an ending. That's because adjectives don't take an ending when their noun is masculine and singular. The same goes for neuter nouns. Stodir ar pur. The town is beautiful. 
But what happens when the noun is feminine? Hausar ar pyra. The house is beautiful. Here the adjective has an a ending to signify that the noun is feminine singular. Remember that the length mark disappears from the long y because it's now in an open syllable. Having said that, the pronunciation of the letter a on the end of pyra is another exception to the open and closed syllable rule. It's pronounced short, even though it's in an open syllable. That's because inflectional endings aren't affected by the open and closed syllable rule. Anyway, uh, back to adjectives. To summarise, in the singular, the endings for adjectives are like this. Now let's look at the plural. For nouns, in the plural, ur changes to en pronounced uh. The n is only pronounced if the noun is followed by a vowel. Neuter nouns also take this ending. Ish changes to a. Uh. Some examples. Bochnarapura. The books are beautiful. Stovenarapura. The towns are beautiful. So it's nice and simple. The adjectives also take en in the plural. Feminine nouns are quite simple too. For nouns, ash changes to on, and the adjective takes the same ending. Hysomadapurom, the houses are beautiful. So, in the plural, the adjective endings look like this. If the nouns are indefinite, the plural endings for the nouns are slightly different. However, the adjective endings are unaffected. Boak as pur. A book is beautiful. Boak na pure. Books are beautiful. Star pur. A town is beautiful. Stavi na pure. Towns are beautiful. Hey ser pura. A house is beautiful. Hey na pure. Houses are beautiful. Watch out. Remember that the adjective endings are the same, regardless of whether the noun is definite or indefinite. It's only the noun endings that change, depending on whether the noun is definite or indefinite. Here's a complete table of noun endings we've seen so far. And for adjectives? There are many more endings to come in a later episode, but that's it for now. In the next episode, we'll have our first proper look at verbs with an introduction to pronouns and the present tense. Hey, Clint.